No matter how good you are, someone is always going to be against you. My dearest listener, if you found this video today, your guardian angels have a special message for you in particular. They can't believe the stories they've heard. Did you really do all of that? There has been much talk about you circulating recently. Your name is on their lips and people cannot stop discussing you and all of your recent successes. Your reputation precedes you people often talk about you because there is so much for them to talk about. You have already achieved so much in your life. And when this person has been told all these stories about you, they find it difficult to believe it, or you are someone. That many people look up to you are a walking success story, even when things do not go your way. So when they have asked others about you and all that you have done, they are told great things that they find hard to believe. They also hear stories about your kindness and humor and wonder how one person could possess so much despite not really knowing you this person already admires you and finds it hard to believe that you are real you may not even realize the trail that you leave people talk about you all the time and find a light in any opportunity to rave about you and proudly boast about knowing you you are not just stories of your greatest achievements, but also the small moments where you have made a bigger impact on the lives of others that you may have not even realized there are moments in which you just by being yourself have helped others in big ways you make the lives of those around you better and help to instill confidence within them. You are someone that people are confident to go to for advice because you carry such great wisdom and emotional intelligence people trust you and to know that you always have their best interests at heart and this person finds it hard to believe that all of this can exist in one person your guardian angels want you to know how people view you and the positive ways in which they speak about you whilst you do not need validation from others it is Always nice to know that your warm personality and magnetic energy are recognized and massively appreciated by others. But your guardian angels wish to tell you something along with this message. Imagine you're like a superhero friend, always swooping in to save the day. Your empathy levels are extraordinary and your words possess a magical power to lift others up. You've become the go-to guru for life advice, and that's undeniably awesome. However, there's always a catch. Being the perpetual savior can take a toll on you. It might feel like you're constantly running on empty, prioritizing others while forgetting about yourself. It's akin to juggling so many plates that you misplace your own plate of self-love. And here's the kicker your superhero cape might start feeling a bit heavy. While helping everyone is noble, it experiencing burnout can be a central station for you. Saying no feels like speaking a different language. And when you add emotional exhaustion to the mix, your superhero status is at risk. There's a tough truth here by being everyone's savior you might unintentionally be holding them back. It's akin to doing all the homework for your classmates. It might get them the grades, but are they truly learning? And let's not forget the risk of compassion fatigue. The more you give, the less you have left for yourself. Ever been so emotionally drained that even a kitten meme couldn't cheer you up? Yeah, that's the one. So, here's the lowdown. Finding that the sweet spot between being an amazing support system and not forgetting your own cape is crucial. It's about establishing superhero-worthy boundaries, prioritizing self-care, and ensuring your superhero status 
isn't at the expense of your own well-being. Remember, you're not just a sidekick in your story. You're the main character. You have the power to change the lives of those around you and the world you live in. The more goodness you spread and give to others, the more that will continue to circle back to you. So, lead with your heart and share what you know with others, encouraging them you faced has led you to this moment. Your guardian angels have gone out of their way to share this celestial message with you. Could it be a sign that you're stepping into a new, even more impactful chapter of your own journey? And if so, are you ready for it? You've already accomplished so much just by being yourself, but this could be the universe's way of preparing you for even greater things. If you've listened to this message and felt a resonance, know that it's no mere coincidence. The universe doesn't make mistakes. Every step you've taken and every challenge you've faced has led you to this moment. Every challenge you've faced has contributed to shaping you into this inspiring figure. Isn't it incredible how life's puzzle pieces fit together to create this amazing picture? My child, there arrives a moment in the journey of each soul, a crossroads where a choice must be made. A choice that echoes through the chambers of eternity, reverberating in the hallowed corridors of destiny. My cherished children, there lies before you two divergent paths, one that whispers of surrender to the perceived limitations, and another that beckons you to rise, to stand tall, and to declare your divine birthright. It is a pivotal juncture where the frailty of human doubts and worldly whispers may tempt you to retreat. The world, in its finite understanding, may murmur tales of inadequacy, lack of skill, knowledge, resources, or even the audacity to dream beyond the ordinary. Yet, within this cosmic symphony, a choice awaits one that transcends the mundane narratives and propels you towards the celestial realm of your true potential. My beloved children, in your mortal guise, you may encounter moments when the weight of the world seems insurmountable. There, in the crucible of life, where hardships unfold, you may be tempted to bow before the illusions of mediocrity. But I beseech you to grasp the other option, the divine spark within you that yearns for more, that yearns to break free from the shackles of self-imposed limitations. It is a sacred commitment, a covenant with your dreams, your goals, and the visionary tapestry of your future. Do not succumb to the whispers that weave tales of inadequacy, for within you resides the power to manifest your destiny. Look beyond the horizon of the present, for it is you who must decide to embark on the journey, to transcend the comfort of the known, and to tread the path less traveled. In the sacred realm of creation, many refrain from exceeding the boundaries set by societal expectations, opinions, or the doubts of others. Yet, I implore you, my beloved, do not confine your aspirations to the echoes of external voices. As you confront the hardships, the rejections, and the trials, remember this, your dreams are not subject to the consensus of the world. It is within your sacred chamber of resolve that the symphony of your destiny is composed. For those among you who have weathered storms of adversity, let not the flame of your dreams flicker. Recall the resilience within you, the unwavering commitment that says, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I shall make it. Do not yield to the naysayers, for their vision is finite, while yours has the potential to touch the infinite. As you tread the path less chosen, many may question your sanity, your choices, and your audacity to dream beyond the confines of the ordinary. Yet, my children, understand that uncommon destinies are not forged by the common souls. In the crucible of life, your commitment to greatness, your unwavering belief in your potential, shall be the hammer that shapes the sword of your victory. In the grand tapestry of creation, I urge you to silence the noise, to shut out the opinions, and to embrace the fact that not everyone will comprehend your sacred journey. Do not let the judgments of others determine your worth or the magnitude of your capabilities. You are crafting a symphony of your own, and its melody need not align with the perceptions of the world. When the shadows of doubt attempt to shroud your brilliance, engage in a dialogue with your inner self. Challenge the voices that undermine your worth and declare them liars. You are stronger than the challenges, more resilient than the adversities. 
With every step forward, you announce to the universe, it's possible, and I am the one to manifest it. My divine warriors, the external circumstances do not define you. Your consciousness shapes the reality you experience. Do not be confined by the present circumstances, for they are but a fleeting reflection of your past choices. If adversity has marked your journey, know that it is a canvas awaiting the brushstrokes of your transformation. As you face the storms, do not be worn down by them. Instead, allow them to refine you, to shape you into a resilient weapon capable of conquering any mission that obstructs your path to victory. Speak to your reflection in the mirror daily and affirm, I am proud of you. I believe in you. You can overcome anything. You are powerful. In the cosmic dance of life, there are those who yearn to be beasts, not in ferocity, but in their ability to navigate through the infernos of existence and emerge with gratitude for the very legs that carry them. A beast is one who, having lost everything, finds gratitude in the opportunity to rebuild. It is an entity that hits rock bottom and exclaims, Roger that. I shall harness this experience, for it is only up from here. In the realm of divine warriors, setbacks are not seen as deterrents, but as opportunities for resurgence. The essence of a beast lies in its ability to endure hell, yet be grateful for the chance to ascend again. It acknowledges that life is impermanent, and in that impermanence, it discovers the strength to rebuild, regenerate, and emerge even stronger. My divine children, as you traverse the realms of existence, do not be shackled by the opinions of those who do not comprehend the grandeur of your dreams. Do not allow the judgments of others to deny you a life that can script history. Recognize that opinions are plentiful, but your destiny is singular. The orchestra of your life is composed not by the external symphony, but by the resonance of your inner commitment. Stand resolute in your journey, my beloved, for in your commitment lies the key to unlocking the boundless potentials within you. When the world attempts to confine you, remember, you are not of the world. You are a divine being with the power to transcend and transform. My divine warriors, the world may not understand your quest, your dreams, your purpose, but it is not for the world to comprehend. It is for you to embark upon this sacred journey to declare your commitment with unwavering resolve. Even when faced with doubt, opposition, or rejection, stand firm, for you are crafting a destiny that transcends the ordinary. In the divine theater of existence, your commitment to your dreams, your unyielding belief in your potential, and your ability to endure hardships shall be the script that unravels the epic tale of your triumph. As you face adversity, remember that it is not designed to break you, but to shape you into a beacon of resilience, a testament to the unwavering spirit within. Speak to the universe with the language of your actions, my beloved. Rise above the cacophony of doubt, embrace the symphony of your commitment, and let the resounding echoes of your journey create a melody that inspires generations. You are not merely enduring life, you are sculpting your destiny with the chisel of your choices. The power to transform, to succeed, to overcome, resides within you and you alone. Acknowledge this truth, for when you do, nothing in the cosmos can deny you the greatness that awaits. The circumstances of today are but a fleeting illusion. Your commitment, your actions, your beliefs, these are the eternal threads that weave the fabric of your destiny. In the divine embrace of your purpose, know that you are crafting a masterpiece, a narrative that transcends the limitations of worldly perspectives. When the chorus of doubt attempts to overshadow your symphony, remember the divine words echoing through the cosmos. No matter how bad it is, or how bad it gets, you shall make it. As you traverse the sacred corridors of your journey, do not merely exist thrive, for your destiny is an unfolding epic, and you are the protagonist. The universe awaits the crescendo of your commitment, the divine melody of your resilience. You are not a victim of circumstance, you are a sculptor of destinies, a bearer of divine potential. In the grand tapestry of creation, you are the brushstroke that paints the canvas of your reality. Stand tall, my divine children, for you are the architects of your fate, the composers of your symphony, and the warriors destined for greatness. In every challenge, see the opportunity to ascend. In every setback, recognize the invitation to rise stronger. As you face the trials and tribulations, declare within your soul, I am the one. I am the architect of my destiny. No external circumstance, no judgment, 
no rejection shall deter me from the sacred journey I have undertaken. In this proclamation, my beloved, lies the alchemy that transforms adversity into triumph. Embrace your divine birthright, for within you resides the power to transmute challenges into stepping stones, obstacles into opportunities. You are not a victim, you are a victor. Do not succumb to the whispers of doubt, for you are crafting a legacy that echoes through the corridors of eternity. My divine warriors, confront every trial with the unwavering belief that you are stronger than any adversity, more resilient than any challenge. With each stride, with each commitment, declare to the universe, I am the one who shapes my destiny. I am the one who perseveres. I am the one who, against all odds, emerges victorious. In the sacred dance of life, heed the call of your divine potential. Do not be confined by the expectations of others, for your journey is a sacred covenant between your soul and the cosmos. The orchestration of your destiny lies within your commitment, your resilience, and your unwavering belief in the limitless power within. And so, my beloved children, in the grand theater of existence, let your commitment be the resounding chorus that reverberates through the cosmos. Rise with the certainty that you are the maestro of your destiny, the architect of your triumph, and the bearer of a divine legacy that transcends the ephemeral illusions of this earthly realm. In the divine embrace of your purpose, go forth with the knowledge that no external circumstance, no judgment, no rejection, can extinguish the flame of your commitment. The symphony of your destiny awaits the crescendo of your unwavering resolve. Stand firm, for you are not alone. The cosmos, in all its splendor, applauds the divine journey you have undertaken. In every adversity, find the opportunity to demonstrate the strength within. In every challenge, discover the gateway to your greatness. Remember, my divine warriors, the fulfillment of your dreams lies within you and you alone. As you navigate the realms of existence, let your commitment be the guiding star that leads you to the shores of triumph. Embrace the divine truth that you are not subject to the consensus of the world. You are a sovereign soul with the power to shape your destiny. As you confront the storms, let them be the winds that propel you forward, the challenges that fortify your spirit. In every setback, recognize the invitation to rise stronger, to emerge as the hero of your own epic. My cherished children, know that you are not mere mortals navigating the twists and turns of life. You are divine beings, and within you resides the infinite power to manifest your dreams. Do not be shackled by the opinions of those who cannot fathom the grandeur of your aspirations. As you traverse the sacred landscapes of your existence, remember this divine truth. The circumstances of today are but fleeting shadows. Your commitment, your actions, your beliefs, these are the eternal forces that shape the grand narrative of your destiny. Stand tall, for you are not victims of circumstance. You are architects of divine destinies. In the sacred communion of your purpose, let your commitment be the anthem that echoes through the ages. You are not here to merely endure life, you are here to sculpt your destiny with the chisel of your choices. In every challenge, perceive the opportunity to unveil your strength. In every trial, witness the alchemy that transforms adversity into triumph. As you navigate the realms of existence, be steadfast in your commitment, resolute in your beliefs. Let not the judgments of others determine your worth, for your destiny is a sacred covenant between your soul and the cosmos. In the grand theater of creation, you are both the playwright and the protagonist. My divine warriors, let the symphony of your commitment drown out the cacophony of doubt. Rise above the opinions of those who cannot fathom the grandeur of your dreams. In every setback, recognize the divine invitation to rise stronger, to emerge as the victorious hero of your sacred journey. In the cosmic dance of life, declare to the universe, I am the one who shapes my destiny. I am the one who perseveres. I am the one who, against all odds, emerges victorious. As you confront the trials and tribulations, let this be your sacred mantra, resonating through the corridors of eternity. And so, my beloved children, go forth with the unwavering certainty that you are not bound by the limitations of the world. Your commitment is the key that unlocks the portals to your divine potential. As you tread the path less chosen, let your actions be the brushstrokes that paint the masterpiece of your destiny. In the sacred tapestry of creation, you are the weaver of dreams, the sculptor of destinies. Stand tall, 
for you are not alone. The cosmos, in all its majesty, aligns with the symphony of your commitment. With every stride, with every choice, you are shaping a legacy that transcends the boundaries of time. In the divine embrace of your purpose, recognize the profound truth, your commitment, your resilience, your unwavering belief in the infinite power within these are the forces that determine the grandeur of your destiny. Embrace the sacred journey that unfolds before you, for you are not mere mortals. You are divine architects of a reality that echoes through the corridors of eternity. In every challenge, discern the opportunity to unveil your strength. In every adversity, witness the alchemy that transforms the mundane into the extraordinary. My divine warriors, go forth with the knowledge that you are not victims of circumstance. You are victors shaping the narrative of your triumph. Here comes the message Father is talking about, and after that, a prayer and some divine wisdom to save yourself from any unforeseen event. My beloved child, today you radiate with joy and happiness, and you are about to receive grace from kind-hearted souls who will share their own blessings with you. I urge you to proclaim to everyone who strengthens you and loves you deeply. Speak with confidence, and from your lips shall flow words of life and hope. You shall never stray far from me, never lose sight of this sign, that I have given you the forgiveness of your sins, made possible by my shed blood, which cleanses you and grants you eternal life. I shall delight in being your father, and you shall revel in the gifts and wonders bestowed upon you. By me your descendants shall be blessed and numerous like the grains of sand by the sea. Know that I remain the same, the one who loved you and gazed upon you with mercy yesterday, who loves you more with each passing day. Your future rests in my hands, but I require your faith. I implore you not to ignore this message. Do not underestimate this medium through which I speak. I have chosen humble-hearted individuals to bring you my word and proclaim it to the world. These three beautiful and divine words, God is good. I was, am, and forever shall be your dearest love and kindness. I am good because I am also the author and creator of faith. With my hands, I signaled the creation of the universe, and with my wisdom, I establish the boundaries of the stars, the galaxies, and all the elements necessary for your existence. You were formed from dust, and one day your earthly body shall return to dust, while your spirit patiently awaits by my side for the appointed time. I shall transform your dust-made body into a holy, eternal, indestructible one. Everything in your life has a purpose. You are my greatest treasure and in my hands. I loved you when you were distant and I shall continue to love you despite any mistakes. I remain the same yesterday, today, and for all eternity, my mind does not waver. I personally sought you when you felt disappointed and sought an easy way out of your pain. I showed you that life and peace are not behind a false facade. You must persevere through the process, face suffering, and place your faith in my word. Walk without faltering, holding my hand so you may reach the long-desired freedom and triumph. Reclaim the conviction that you are a person of great worth. I witnessed your tears and wept alongside you as a true friend, so you would feel safe and choose to keep fighting. Because I fight alongside you, I assist you when you ask, and I fight for you when you are weary. My heavenly army stands guard around you when you feel exhausted dot at tea times. You do not even realize the countless things I have saved you from. I will open your eyes to the supernatural world so you can witness my warrior angels fighting fierce battles to protect you. I have saved you from deadly accidents halted disease at your doorstep, confused the intentions of criminals and thieves, and rebuked the enemy of your soul when it sought to devour you. I reaffirm my love for you, remind you that no matter what happens, 
you are still under my shelter and love. But with affection, I also ask that you no longer be troubled or filled with fear. When problems arise, that you told me that you would trust me and not react to what people are saying. Know that I have surrounded you with my arms, and no threats or lies from others can harm you. There are levels of faith, maturity, and wisdom, and you are at the highest, where I have placed you. Higher up where you are, disputes and provocations cannot touch you. They seek your reaction, aiming to steal your inner peace. They know that if they succeed, your thoughts will run wild, uncontrollable, and you may harm those in your path. Therefore, I urge you to accept my peace. It is merely a matter of faith, of taking time in silence. Wherever you are, speak my word in your thoughts or aloud. The power of my promises will break your chains, and I will remove from you the bad habit of getting nervous and worried about any lies you hear. Even if they were true, you should not lose your peace. When bad news comes, you shall face it with strength and your head held high. I have spoken to your soul and given you the assurance that I will always be with you. Those who attack you believe that no one is protecting you and that their words can harm you, but do not believe them. Do not allow their lies to occupy your mind and heart. I will give you the strength to overcome these enemies, and even if you make mistakes, I will always listen with affection to your repentant heart. Believe me in this as well. If you distance yourself from error and those harmful acquaintances, you will truly be happy and highly blessed. Of choice, whom do you want to believe? I have asked you this many times, and I know you are human. But now understand that I am God. You bring the faith, and I possess the power. You may be weak at times, and I wish to assist you always. I have safeguarded your family from dire situations, and will continue to protect them. But I want you and your entire household to seek me. Believe in my word, and receive the complete blessing of my holy promises. Speak to them, please, and let them know that I am aware of their lives and have a special plan that must be fulfilled. Tell them not to feel bad or become sad if they think they have lost something, a material possession, a friend, a job, or their plans that fell apart. Repeat these words to them. Everything happens for a reason. Our beloved God is in control. In the end, even things that seem negative will work in our favor. Don't seek me every day. Give thanks in all circumstances, both good and bad, and believe me when I say this, marvelous miracles will happen when your hearts are filled with praise. Deliver my message to them. Tell them not to worry, that everything will be fine. A time of great blessings is coming for your family, and you dot, you have kept the faith, and you stand strong. I am ready to bless you. You are well prepared to receive all that I have prepared for you. I also want your troubled times to be left behind and for you to cast aside the feeling of being a failure. Let me declare something to you. None of my sons and daughters is a failure, and you will never be one. I love you, I care for you, I prepare you, and I correct you. If you fall, you rise, if you make mistakes, you confess, and I forgive you with patience and love. You stand up, shake off the dust, and continue with your faith in my word, and your eyes fixed on the goal. My daughters and sons make mistakes, but they persist the humility and ability to acknowledge their faults. Receive my forgiveness and leave behind all feelings of defeat and guilt. You have never been a failure. The enemy knows how you feel and has taken advantage to steal from you and to harm you. But everything that was stolen from you shall return. I want you to become accustomed to living a life of emotional freedom. 
Stop blaming yourself for past events and do not punish yourself by denying the opportunity to succeed. I want you to keep growing in your faith and learn to depend more on me. I will instruct you to do things that may seem impossible to you. Understand, my child, that I have chosen you to be a channel of blessing to all those you love. Step into the abundant embrace of my presence that surrounds you like a warm, comforting blanket. Begin with the melody of praise, allowing it to rise until it becomes a symphony of worship. In the cadence of your worship, the glory will unfurl. Stand, dear one. Stand in the glorious light that emanates from my heart. Know this, my cherished one, my plans for you are unwavering, and I have not altered the course set for your life. Picture me standing and waiting, ready to pour out blessings that match the depth of your praise and the fervor of your worship. You're about to witness what others have only dreamed of seeing. The high places of my presence are to be your dwelling, not just a fleeting visitation. Do not settle for occasional glimpses. Embrace the glorious dwelling I have prepared for you. Shake off any hesitation, sweet child. Take control of your emotions, focus your thoughts, and let every fiber of your being magnify praise and worship. In this abandoned heart, you will witness the extraordinary unfold. You are the one chosen and dearly loved. I appoint you as the apple of my eye, drawing you close into my unyielding protection, lavish provision and divine purpose like never before. Hear me, for today is a new dawn and a fresh pathway has unveiled itself before you. Embrace it with anticipation, knowing that this new way has found you. Rejoice, for I am with you every step, and your journey is marked by promises fulfilled and assurances that stand unshakable. You are cherished, guided, and destined for greatness. Trust in this, for I choose you, and in my choosing, you find immeasurable joy and boundless purpose. However, I want you to be cautious about what enters your ears and what your eyes see. I want my word to take precedence. Nourish yourself in it. Immerse yourself in my Holy Spirit, whether by reading, listening, speaking, writing, or singing. Whatever I inspire you to do, do it in spirit and in truth. Learn to manage it. I will bestow great blessings upon you but you must care for them. I will not lift you up so you feel overly important and become conceited. The authority I will grant you, if you want my blessings to multiply, must be used with humility. Do not allow gossip or slander against anyone. Never raise your hand or soil your tongue to harm those who esteem, help or provide you with employment through which you earn your bread Put your effort into working, serving, and being a blessing to those around you, your family, and to others. I have chosen you to bear fruit, to go where I send you, to let prosperity and blessing flow in your household. I have come to speak to you as a friend. If you want to see a change in your life, you must decide to obey me and walk with me. Tell me that you will. You are entering a new stage, and if you want, you will succeed. I have chosen you to be a warrior, to bring your family forward, to lead you from victory to victory, to for my presence to accompany you in all your triumphs, from glory to glory through your praise. My dear child, I love you, champion of champions. I will bless you. I did not make a mistake when I chose you. I know what I'm doing because I want you to understand how much I love you. Together with my servants, you shall return to this earth to confront the armies of darkness. Prepare yourself, for one day you shall reign alongside me. But until that day comes, never cease to pray. Seek me relentlessly. 
I desire your commitment to fulfill my will. Tell me now, in your own words, that you will always love me. Amen. Curious to discover more life-changing insights like these? Then dive right into our next video. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Click on the video and let's keep the universal's wisdom flowing.